So this is the wide shot, and the wide shot isn't even that wide, which is interesting. Whatever. We're gonna make this work. I think it looks good. Make sure we're on Wi-Fi here. And I believe we are on Wi-Fi. We're just gonna wait for some folks to show up. We're gonna give it a few minutes, maybe, and then we're gonna get started. What's up, Green Diesel? Actually, I'm gonna get my laptop set up. Do we want red or blue? We'll go with red. Get my phone set up here as well. I also need my Sony uh, A7 IV. Also gonna need that. So if I'm not talking as loudly, it's probably because everybody else is asleep, so. I'm gonna put this out of the way so you can see what I'm wearing. And I'll get to the ugly Christmas sweater in just a second. I should wear this to on tonight's live stream, right? I mean, tonight is Monday, Monday night's live stream where I actually go out and stream. <clears throat> I was gonna film this on my um, Canon M50, but you know what? I started to get lazy and I think I'm just gonna do the Samsung S20 Ultra live stream. Now, think about it. We are doing live streams these days on YouTube. 1080p, 1080p, you can't beat that. It's pretty good, 1080p. And uh, there you go, just click 1080p if uh, you are at home and you're watching on Wi-Fi. I highly recommend that. We need a fire, by the way. And you know, this is the kind of talking head content that I do want to do with the channel more often. How are you doing, Green? Uh, Tony, now that you have a Netflix approved cinematic camera, you list the film shot in the dark too. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it would be nice, but I'm not in charge of those things. But I like your joke and, uh, you know, I'd love to do a midnight tour season three, but you know, you never know. How are you doing, Jen? Uh, Tristan Green Diesel, waiting for more folks. We're gonna get started soon. We're gonna start the fire. Now, I just hope nobody calls the fire department because did you see it on um, Instagram or was it, I forget which, uh, you know, somebody called the fire department because they saw flames on inside somebody's apartment. And what they did was they, um, they uh, called the fire department when it was actually a television just playing the fireplace. How about that, huh? Um, Okay, so 27 viewers. Um, I'm going to get this laptop started so I can see your comments. And we are going to get started pretty soon. And what I also will say is that um, I made a little video. And now I haven't posted it on social media. I'm going to finalize it or whatever. But I'm going to show you guys just because I already made it. And um, hopefully you guys can hear it. It's beginning to... Okay. I think the volume's good. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Excuse the folding chairs. Is this wide or is this the? There we go. No, I think we need the other one. So this is this is my video, right? Don't laugh. Actually, you can laugh if you want to. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. What?
probably the corniest thing I've ever made. It's got to top the corniest thing I've ever made, but you know, whatever. I'm going to post it on the Adam Loud Labs uh, account, and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Jen likes it. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me bring up the YouTube live stream here. Let me connect the power to the, and uh, oh yeah, somebody mentioned the shirt. This is a Centalorian Star Wars themed uh, ugly, ugly Christmas sweater. I don't think it's ugly, but that's the um, category of sweater, right? So it says, uh, stop, spit it out. It's just a toy. Let me uh, get you guys up here. I'm also going to post a link to my own personal social media. So, I'm trying to share it as many places as I can here. Just give me a second. Ira Friedman. Ira, hope you're on here watching. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get started soon. I'm gonna hook up my power to the laptop and I'm gonna put the camera. It did not actually come with this. Look how small the FX3 is. Look how small. I had to write it myself. I had to write it myself. Just so the video looks a little bit more elaborate. I've got a fan there because that's how hot New York City apartments are. It might be 30 degrees outside, but you still need a fan to blow in the cold air. That's how hot it is because they really crank up the heat. the power to your, the phone um, I really don't think that this live stream is gonna be that long so um, very clear image says Toby yes but we are on Wi-Fi uh, super fast Wi-Fi and um, you if you guys are on Wi-Fi everybody should be watching this in 1080p so we got good battery Chair go lower? No. Nope. I think that's gonna have to do. So um, all right, I see your comments. Let's see how the audio is. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Audio is fine. Yeah. So I'll just put that on mute. 
So you guys saw the unboxing video. Um, it is already unboxed. Uh, this is the Sony FX3. If you haven't heard of it, it's effing awesome. And here's one of the reasons why it's awesome. The movie The Creator was filmed on this cinema camera. Now, some people will criticize it and say, oh, well, it's not a real cinema camera. It's not XYZ or whatever. But here's the thing. Yes, it is technically a mirrorless camera, right? It is technically uh, the core or the guts or whatever is a Sony A7S III, which is about a eh, three to $4,000 camera. This is a $4,000 camera. So it's similar in price, although I do believe the Sony A7S III does, it is, might be a little bit less than the FX3. So Netflix thinks it is. It is definitely a Netflix approved camera. Um, the reasons why I got this over the A7, I mean, as an upgrade to the Sony A7 IV, and I'm gonna show you what my current A7 IV rate is right now. This is it right here, right? <clears throat> you know, you're looking at this, and you're probably thinking, why do I need a camera better than the Sony A7 IV? I mean, look at it, it's a pretty crazy looking rig, right? So. Here's my reason. My reason is this. The problem with the Sony a7 IV, right, and I've been using it for a year now, since last Christmas, is the 4K uh, 60 frames is cropped, right? That's one of the reasons. So if you're shooting like this in 24 frames or 30 frames, you're shooting wide. But as soon as you go to 60 frames, now the image becomes like this, right? So that's cropped and cropped image. I don't want that, right? I want to shoot the full 60 frames in full frame. Uh, the, another reason is it has a fan in it, right? The A7 IV is notorious for overheating. Uh, I do not want that camera to overheat in the worst possible circumstances. Uh, I don't know, like uh, brides walking down the aisle or something. Let's say I happen to get into weddings. Uh, I do not want that to happen, right? Uh, how you doing, Doug? Um, another thing is uh, it has XLR microphone port. And you, know, you can plug in your XLR microphone uh, top handle, which is right there, right? So it has a fan, has XLR for microphone, and it has that 4K uh, 60 frames on crop. It has also a bunch of other things, like tally lights, shows you when it's recording. Uh, buttons that are made for video specifically. A lot of different things. This is a 100% video camera yes it can take photos but it's a hundred percent it's a video camera whereas the sony a7 IV or the sony uh, a7s III is considered uh, hybrid cameras right it's especially great if you want to do both photo and video but uh, let's get to this um i'm tired of talking i uh I'd like to open it now so uh youtube doug merry christmas doug I feel like this needs to be higher. And I feel like we're at the widest point. Oh, now we're at the widest point. Okay, much better. Yeah, that's much better. my knife. There we go. You know what? I did not even need to cut anything open. I don't know why I did that. Here we go. Now that's a knife. Yeah, Tony, it's a, uh, it's a gift from a fellow EMT. Um, I think he has a seatbelt cutter, and uh, that's it right there. It says EMT on it somewhere. Yeah, there we go, EMT. And no, I do not carry this on me before someone starts to lecture me on what I can and cannot carry. All I carry is a flashlight. So if you try and assault me, I'm gonna be like, hey, here's a flashlight. And I'm trying to disorient them, and maybe, you know, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
usually paired with cursing like back the F off, mother F. No. <laughs> uh, let's open this. Now, those of you who've seen me live know what I do and say when shit hits the fan. All right, let's check it out. Remember you had to do that one time when someone's going after you? Oh, yeah, remember that, that lady who, who started throwing a water bottle at me? There are a lot of scales in New York City. Thank you so much, Tristan. Okay, the first thing we're seeing is a wire, right? This is a uh, USB-C. As we know, we can charge the camera with USB-C, right? I plug it into a V-mount battery. One of these things that I put in the back of, oh, 98%, nice, that I put in the back of my camera rig. So this goes right there. See? Manuals, I never read the manuals. Now, usually for proper unboxing videos, I have the over the top angle thing, but I'm lazy today. Um, okay, so I, I'm feeling where the camera is, I think. Um, there's all these little things here. Uh, I assume this is the battery charger. Nice of them to provide a battery charger. And by the way, um, these are the, I believe, the same battery that the Sony A7 IV takes. So. It's nice to have compatible batteries. Let's see, okay, I believe this is the body right here. We'll do the body last. This looks like the looks like a cold shoe or a hot shoe. Or, I think it's a cold shoe. Maybe it's a spare part. I don't know. Take the battery out. We're gonna need the battery. Yeah, it's definitely the same battery as the Sony A7 IV. And this, I assume, is the top handle. Right? My hands clean. Not oily. Okay. <clears throat> the top handle. There we go. Very shiny, very nice, very sexy. Um, it's actually upside down. So this is the right way. So, one main difference between the, the F, Sony FX3 and the Sony a7 IV is the Sony a7 IV does not have a top handle or an XLR uh, microphone, right? So as you know, uh, XLR is a microphone port where you can insert a, you know, real microphone and have great audio, not the, you know, 35 millimeter on the side of the camera kind of thing, but and you can put, stick your microphone right here, right? And by the way, if, if, uh, fun fact, this camera is now the official Stringer Boss camera of New York City, used by two of the Stringer Bosses of the top two Stringer uh, companies in New York City. Fun fact, uh, if you didn't know that, now you know that. Yes, it took me a while to, you know, level up, but... Uh, I came to my senses. Um, and here's the body. Small, as expected. I really don't think there's anything else to unbox here. More cables. This is for the battery charger. That's pretty much it. Jen, uh, Adam, when are you going to get back to live stream again after this tonight, right? So here's the plan. Hello, red light. It's cool, right? I feel like a, one of those uh, YouTubers, you know, you get the light, you've got different things going on in the background. You know, I got a light here, right here, shining in my face, you know. I want to do more of these talking head content videos, right? Not just live streams per se, but, you know, professional cameras shiny i mean you know pointed towards me and you know doing that kind of content so 
because I'm used to being in front of the camera. Um, better lighting, of course, you can tell this lighting is kind of, uh, you know, not ideal, but it's working, so I got no complaints so far. Um, so here we go. Right. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too, Aja. We need a red light in the car. Yeah, I think a red light and a blue light, and then kind of both, I think it would be really nice, you know, nice effect. So, without further ado, here we go. The Sony FX3. The same camera that they filmed a motion picture with the creator i gotta watch that movie by the way i really gotta watch it i might watch it right after this i don't know um but as i was saying the plan is you know um the family's coming over we're doing we're opening the gifts and all that kind of stuff and then um you know when i take the family back uh, i drop them off and then i go live that's usually what the plan is the reason why i took off tonight is because i can do stuff like this and uh i can do um you know prepare for christmas whatever else I need to do, clean the house, whatever, and uh, wake up, sleep at, the, at a decent time, and wake up at a decent time for Christmas Day, right? So, um, but yeah, super excited about this camera. And here are some of the features. Um, the lighting is not very good here, so let me shift this around. <clears throat> so yeah, off the bat, I will say it feels very comfortable in the hand you don't gotta miss me jen you know why because i'm gonna go I'll, I'll be live streaming tonight so if you think about it i really did not take a night off live streaming because i'm live streaming right now so in the hand it feels very good um this is the shutter button right here uh this right here this is a springy uh wide to tight button you can use this to zoom in your clear image zoom if you have a pz power zoom lens uh, it will enable that power zoom lens to zoom all the way from you know i don't know whatever that focal range is maybe you've got an 18 uh maybe you've got a uh i don't know a 24 to 100 millimeter it's gonna zoom in from 24 wide to 100 millimeter uh, tight but i'm using just this you can't do that with the a7 IV. uh it does not have this video zooming uh rocker i don't know what you call this all right so there's buttons here for iso um iris which is pretty much uh like your f-stop and your white balance right here your record button very important to record a uh, video i believe this shutter button is to take photos although i'm sure you can program it to take video as well um this is right here the fx3 cinema line All right this is the screen now i'm surprised they it came with the shiny side. What did the little man get from Santa? Well, he's opening his gifts tomorrow. I mean, today or whatever. And uh, we got him a whole bunch of things. So I'll definitely elaborate once after he opens it. Um, so I'm surprised they, sh they, out of the box, is the shiny side. I, I was expecting it to be the protected side. This is the protected side, right? So it does have your you know flip screen where you can flip around if you're doing any kind of vlogging you can see yourself right just like a uh you know this is from best buy uh you have your different settings here uh, where's this focus mag function um your wheel here I think it says zebra display peaking shutter um your um, gallery view where you can see what photos or videos you, you took and as well as the trash button which you can which also is a custom number four button you can you know set that to whatever uh function you want right it also has a number six button in the front you can use that as a record button um let's say you had the camera set up like this you can press record and it will record from that custom number six button or you can probably program it to uh record whatever you want uh, this is the side here where you can put your HDMI and you can put your, um, what, what else is here?
Okay, you've got your uh, USB-C up here. You've got your uh, USB power, uh, you know, like if you had a top handle with a record button, you can plug that in. Uh, you've got your uh, 35 millimeter headphones and your microphone. Uh, actually, 35 millimeter microphone and your headphone jack. I believe that's what it is. Yep. Uh, also very important, uh, I think, about this camera, it provides all these quarter 20 holes on the top, as well as one here and one over here as well. So I think that's a great feature because um, it creates mounting points where you can mount all your um, you know, accessories, uh, maybe a cage if you're putting a cage on there, uh, stuff like that. So now we're going to mount the top handle. Okay, so the top handle... Um, this is the first time I'm actually touching this, so... So your top handle has your audio um, functions here. Uh, this cover prevents you from accidentally, you know, hitting one of those dials. And you can control your uh, the volume levels depending on how many, you know, what your what you input into the uh, into the XLR here. Now I'm seeing there's an input three. I'm not sure where the input three goes. Um, there's input two and input one. Yeah, where does input? Oh. oh, pretty cool. So input three right here has a um, 35 millimeter uh, input for say your microphone, right? Like if you have one of these microphones, that goes in the 35 millimeter. <clears throat> Interesting. I did not know that. And you can turn the handle audio off and on, on right here. All right. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and attach that. Uh, top handle with the two quarter 20 um, screws here, all right? But it also looks like, okay. Uh, okay. You first have to remove the hot shoe cover right here. Then you would have to remove the hot shoe cover from the camera. I think that works much better. So then you have to slide the hot shoe in because this is where the audio contacts with the hot shoe and you know you're able to um, you know it's able to transmit that audio. This is just a flat head that that you're using to tighten it. It's kind of I think it's spring loaded as well. So I'm just gonna use my hands. And that pretty effortless to do. Okay. It's pretty tight. And it's pretty balanced too. You can just, you know, actually, it's not. Yeah. Let's get a lens on there. Will it stay? Don't move.
So this is a Tamron uh, 28, millimeter, 28 to 200 millimeter lens. I use it um, for my on the A7 IV for stringing. I like how we can go from you know 20 millimeters uh, wide to 200 millimeters tight. So let's check out the sensor, shall we? All right. So it does not look like the Sony FX3 has that shutter that closes. Now I will show you for comparison the Sony A7 IV, um, what that looks like. All right? How you doing? Uh, awesome filming news. So check it out. Already, I'm like if I use this in a run and gun situation, I will say this is pretty damn light, right? And you can also hold it by the top handle here, right? Pretty damn light. I will show you the Sony A7 IV right here. Check out this uh, sensor, it has that it's closed, so it protects it against dust. I guess the FX3 does not have that feature, which is a negative. I did not know that. So I guess when you're changing lenses on the FX3, make sure you're not in a dusty environment. Um, try and, you know, I don't know, go go into some somewhere where, you know, if you have the option, of course, to do that. So this is it so far, right, with my Tamron lens on there. So uh, what I do want to do next is attach... No, we'll do the we'll do the microphone. We'll do the microphone. So th this is the Sony XM1. How you doing, Angie? Merry Christmas to you too, Angie. I'm trying to a lot of stuff here. Sony M XM1. This is the same Sony microphone I do use on my Panasonic camcorder, the HCX1. Comes with a foamy. And this is a great microphone, by the way. I do not recommend anything cheap. Uh, like a, there's a thirty dollar replica BS version of this microphone. I do not recommend that. Stay away from that version. In fact, I will show you that version. This is it right here. It's made by Electric Condenser Microphone Mic XM1 by Kiora Photo. Kiora Photo. Don't buy this one. All right. I'm not even gonna open that. I'm not gonna bother. Using the knife for everything. There we go. This is the foamy. This is the microphone. It's pretty small. Well, it's you know decent size. I hate the super long ones because I feel it's too long for this. We need something small for this, right? 
Not as small as uh, the other one, but you know, this is a pretty damn good microphone for, it's a hundred dollar microphone. All right, perfect, perfect. See this rubber here is to fit this thing. And, uh, I do believe this is much easier to take out than the Panasonic HCX1. Look at that, super easy. You don't have to unscrew nothing. Perfect, this is great. And that is an absolute, that is an absolute perfect fit right there. It's not going anywhere. And let's go ahead and plug that in. So I'm going to loop the cord around the handle here. And we're going to put it into input one. There we go. This now is adding to the weight, right? Keep in mind it's now adding to the weight. All right, what's next? Uh, we're gonna add the uh, cage now. We're gonna add the cage. I lost the cage, but I just realized that I had the camera on top of the cage box. So. But this is fine. I think we'll just lower the camera. Nice muffler. <laughs> What's up, Tony? I think we'll just do that. I'm just gonna have to settle for that. And I'll be like, hey guys. So let's put on this cage, shall we? I think that should be fine. So this is the cage box. So it comes in. Looks like four pieces. This is the uh, top NATO rail. We won't be using that because we already have the XLR top handle on there. This is the uh, HDMI um, clamp that goes on the left side of the camera. And this is the cage, right? Some people wonder, what do you need a cage for? Well, if you look at my Sony A7 IV, it did enable me to mount all kinds of stuff, such as a microphone, right? And I had this light mounted right here. So that's what a cage is for. It gives you additional mounting uh, options. 
Otherwise, you're only stuck with that center pot tree, which is very limiting. <clears throat> so yeah, the great thing about um, the Sony FX3 cage is that it mounts on three points, the bottom and the left and the right, whereas the Sony A7 IV only has one and a second mounting point at the strap, which is you know, not too impressive, you know, don't like that. I think you mount the bottom first. Ooh, battery. It's funny, you, you would think the first thing I would do is try to turn the camera on, right? So. Power button right here. Well, nothing's happening, and the battery must be dead. So. This is where the SD cards, dual SD cards, you want your camera to have dual SD cards for redundancy. If one card uh, fails, you're gonna have that second card to back you up. So let's go ahead and charge this battery. You know what? I have a bunch of batteries. Here's one. Sound pretty fast. Yes, I want English. English for follow. Connect smartphone. Do not connect. Select date and time. I'm not going to mess with this right now. Select date and time. Uh, let's go ahead and attach this cage on here. We're going to start with the bottom. bottom is secure and we have two more additional mounting points on uh, this side and that side and again I'm so glad this is a camera that has three mounting points because on the Sony A7 IV I did experience some camera wobble which is very annoying. This is too thick. This small rig tool is too thick for this. So we're gonna need to use the provided tool that they provided on the bottom, which is very nice of small rig to provide. Uh, you know, that's why they're a great company. They provide little tools here. You can tighten this. There we go. That actually works much better. So we're gonna do the other side as well. And 
now we're good. All right. So what else do we need on here? We got the cage on here. Now we've got our cold shoe. Unfortunately, we do not have another cold shoe here. But at least we have a microphone here. I could attach that light, that light right here. Right. I also need to attach my uh, sling, you know, strap attachments. Um, how you doing, uh, Ken Fickle? Aja Jen, awesome fishing man, and Angie. Also Gino. Uh, yeah. Again, of course, if anyone has any questions or even if it's not camera related questions, feel free to ask. You know, this is one time that I am not focused on stringing. I don't have to listen to the scanners and I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Because shout out to my guy Usman working right now. He's on the road. Thank you for your service. <clears throat> I'm checking the phone battery here. Phone battery is good. The Samsung S20 Ultra, great battery life. Uh, let's see. What else can we add now? Now we've got our XLR handle. We've got our microphone. We've got our cage on here, right? Well, this might have a live stream. I don't think his channel is capable of live streaming, uh, but, you know, I know there's ways around it, like using... Um, Prism, Prism Live or whatever. Um, anyways, what else do we want to get on here? Uh, so we do have an extent. Look how small this handle is. Does it fit in my hand? Yes, it does. But if I were to put my hand here, look, my pinky does not have any, you know. So Small Rig built an extension handle. Right? Do you see why I find this stuff very fun? This is like building Legos or something. I'll just keep the knife open. There's no babies crawling around right now. So. All right, so. Where's my small rig tool? I'm gonna screw the top handle then. This top handle um, has way more mounting points, quarter 20, and uh, I believe the airy, the 3 8 airy, right? So it definitely provides more mounting uh, points and holes for it. You know, and you can, as you can see, it is um, extending that handle and it makes it much easier to grab or hold or whatever. Uh oh, I'm getting notifications. Someone got shot in Patterson, New Jersey. Not my problem. The victim walked into emergency room with a gunshot wound. Yeah, he walked in the ER with a gunshot wound. At, he's probably going to live. Okay, so now this extension cable goes here. And there's a screw right here. So I need to screw a screw in there as well. Uh, I believe this goes in like this. So 
if this is too short, you're going to have to use the Allen key that they provided you. So as you can see, this handle is now so much more, uh, it's longer. And it's much better to carry. I haven't even gripped it yet. Oh, this feels so much better. My, check it out, my pinky actually has room now to grip. That's great. That's great. Keep in mind, the FX3 does not have an ABF. The A74 does. But how often do you use an ABF? You could use it in the daytime where you're trying to get focus, you know, and or check your exposure, and the, the screen is super bright. You can't see because the sun is shining on it. Some say that they really wanted an EVF, kind of like the Sony A7S III, but, you know, it is a compromise. Um, what do we want to do next? Uh, let's see. Oh, we also have this right here. Um, as you can see, I cannot mount anything on the top here. There's no cold shoe or nothing. So this, what it provides is with a cold shoe mount, let's say if I wanted to put a light on there. Let's say I wanted to put you guys, the phone, up here. I can do that. So let's open this. Of course, as... The more you load up this camera, the, 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 the weight is going to increase. So. so this goes right here. Providing me with a cold shoe mounting point. Pretty cool, right? Editor is texting me. All right, um, so got our hot shoe on cold shoe on the top I don't know what I'm gonna put on there um, I don't want to take that off um, so now we have a top cold shoe mount we also have a side cold shoe mount on that cage right so we can put you know I could put you guys there I could put a monitor there although I do want to put the monitor right there um, I can put most likely I'll put the light right here or I might put the light up here I'm gonna have to play around with it right <clears throat> so I'm going to put all this stuff away and now we're going to see what else we can do with this I don't know who else is here right now uh, what's up Ken Fickle uh, feel free to chat folks alright because uh, these kinds of live streams we don't do it too often uh, special occasion Merry Christmas so uh Let's build this rig, okay? So what else do we need now? Let's see. 
Now, luckily uh, for me, I already built a rig, which is the Sony A7 IV rig. You guys saw it earlier. So this takes out a lot of the guesswork of, you know, building a rig, right? Because I'm already familiar with building a rig. This is not my first rig. You know, this is probably my 10th rig that I've built with the numerous cameras that I have. to take it off here. So this is the small rigs um, V-mount, um, compact V-mount system. I did attach a chest pad right here, right? And um, yeah, let's get this uh, rig on the rig. Let's get the camera on the rig, yeah. It also has these feet that come out. Now I can, you know, stand it on the table comfortably so the bottom of the cage does have a Arca Swiss plate baked into the the, uh, the uh, cage so I'm able to just simply slide that in here There's no center alignment button. What the hell? It's supposed to be a center alignment um, notch. Seems centered. Right. So okay, it's uh, it's mounted. Right. What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? Right. That's the rig we got so far. Let me put this down a bit. Okay. Hi. So this is the rig we got so far. What else can we do to it? Um, this is the power USB-C. Um, we do have to attach the monitor still. Um, this is the V-mount plate. So we do have to put our battery there. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the battery is right here. This is the V-mount battery. Um, Highly recommend it. It takes a D tap on the side. Is the power button showing how much power there is? On the top, it takes uh, takes your uh, eight volt and your twelve volt power for in case you run dummy batteries. USB C, regular USB, and again, your D tap is going to be on your right side. So, video V mount. You can just slide that on there, and it's good to go. Right. What else are you missing? Uh, of course, you can't have a camera rig without your matte box, which makes it look super awesome, as well as getting those sun flares, flares, whatever, sun flares, I believe, uh, out, out of the lens, out of the camera, especially during the daytime. If you're running this at night, it just makes the camera look cool, not gonna lie. So I'm going to take the lens off right here. Take the lens cap off. I'm going to screw on your uh, step ring, I guess, or mat box ring, whatever you want to call it. I have a loose vibe about this. I feel it should be easier, not harder. There we go. Should be nice and smooth. Put the lens cap back on. Now you're going to put your mat box on. Right here. And you want to center it. You don't want it crooked or anything like that. I'm going to tighten this right here. Move the 
want, you can also attach the I believe they call this a barn door. Alright, just leave it a little bit upwards like that. There you go. Look at that. It's already starting to look like a cinema camera or a nice rig, right? Check this out. Right. If it wasn't for this chest pad, I would have this much closer, but I do like it. It gets my chest like this. Right. And we're just going to close the barn door for now. So what else can we do with this? Keep in mind, this also has a cold shoe mount right on the back here in case you're going to nuke a mount, like maybe a... Um, Say you have a um, DJI wireless microphones, right? Like I do here. Is it even charged? There we go. This is your DJI wireless um, receiver. Right. It does have a cold shoe right here, and you can attach this right here. Perfectly. It's kind of loose, but it does work, right? And I'm just going to keep this safe here. It comes with a nice, cute little case. So I'm going to attach the monitor now. So this is your monitor. Um, I currently have it on attached to a cold shoe mount. I do want something where I can attach it to the handle right here. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have something to currently do it with. Uh, I may just have to do that for now, but I don't like the look of it. suppose that's an option. Look at that. I'm not sure if I like how high that screen is. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but I will say it's pretty tall. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I would prefer the monitor to be right here. I have seen people do this. They attach it right here, right? And it's leaning up against the XLR controls here. And they still have room to grip the handle here. All right, so I think that's gonna be the best place for it. I just need to get a proper mount for that. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put it on the top handle.
now we need to put all the wires in. Uh, so we've got So we're going to start with the HDMI cable that goes on the side of the monitor. All right, we're going to need to put that into the HDMI on the camera. So let's see how we're going to route this. Uh, this I'm hoping the cable is not too short. So, although I do believe this is a long cable. There we go. Perfect. 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 Yes, I like that. Check out that cable. The cable is perfectly uh, no slack, whatever. I don't like a cable that's like one big loop and then it's gonna, you know, um, it's gonna caught on a branch of a tree or something. So this is now your uh, DTAP, which powers the monitor. USB-C that powers the camera or keeps the camera charging um, and it's connected to this uh, V-mount battery. And the light turns on indicating that it is currently charging. like as you can see right there one thing I forgot to do is you always want the screen open and not closed right that helps the camera from overheating of course, this camera does have a fan, so that's not going to happen. But you want to play it safe, and you do always want your screen uh, folded out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the beauty of the V-mount system is, the small rig V-mount system is you can fold this battery back like this. So with the screen, we do have some cable management here as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. Someone said, well, uh, hey Adam, is it right now? What's the price for that setup? I want to say it's around 4000 ish just the camera. With the lens and everything else, it might be 5000 ish And 
this year I am not I mean, 2024 I'm not messing around as far as you know video production goes I'm gonna get super serious about especially about doing real estate and weddings so I really think this investment is gonna pay off of course I'll also be using this sometimes for streaming but I definitely won't be bringing it to any NYCHA or public housing shootings that's for sure okay so we got our cable management right here we got the D tab we got the um, HDMI setup we've got the USB-C powering the camera charging the camera um, what else do we need um, You know what? I might be able to attach the monitor with the 3 8 airy um, NATO rail. Check this out. Uh, originally, I used this guy, this for a monitor. I took it off and I now mounted you guys, the phone on here. So I have a NATO rail attached to a airy mount. I think this is going to work. Now again, I did want the monitor right here, but we're gonna have to see how it works on here. Now, this I don't, I don't think I mind this, but you know what? I'm gonna go with the original plan and see if that works before I decide to use this right here, because this I feel can other things can be on there, such as this light right here, right? Because I do need light on this rig, or maybe I might mount you guys if I'm doing live streaming while stringing plus it's a little high you see my eye level you see where the monitor is i don't want to be doing this i don't want to be doing that Merry Christmas, Paul. Paul Smith. You see how close this is? I don't think I like that.
I think I would prefer it on top. So we'll just go ahead and keep that needle rail on there. But I need to figure out how to put it right there. That's where I want it. I might have to buy something separate. So I'm going to have to put this back now. So far, I'm happy with this setup right here. I guess I'll suffer with the screen a little bit higher than usual, but so far, this is the setup. Check that out. Sony FX3. Gangster. What is left of my Sony A7 IV? This is all that's left. Uh, Sony A7 IV, top handle, microphone. That's it. That's all that's left of it. And uh, what do I do with it now? Uh, well, definitely won't need the top handle. This top handle is nice because you could record. Now I can't record with the top handle. Unless, of course, I attached, I took that top handle off and attached this top handle on there. So, but so far, I'm not going to do I do like that XLR capability with that microphone on there. This microphone will not be needing this anymore. This will be obviously my best microphone or alternative microphone if I needed to use a 35 millimeter. So I haven't heard from Usman. Let's see what's going on with him. Did my light just die? What's up with that?
Okay, so we're just trying to figure out what's going on with Usman. By the way, um, this is... I'm going to take this off and let me... Put this somewhere. I'll just throw it in there. So the A7 IV now is essentially going to be a uh, photography camera or a B cam. So what is a B cam? So let's say I'm filming an interview with somebody, and I need a second camera to capture. You know, let's say the FX3 is capturing a tighter shot, maybe like this of someone talking yes i spent my life in malaysia it was tough i was an immigrant and then now this camera could be the b cam and it can capture a wider shot such as this yeah i was rough in malaysia malaysia man so it's an example of a b cam setup so this can be my b cam setup do i want this cage on here not really you know i mean most likely i'm gonna be taking this on any kind of uh, family activities filming whatever uh you know so I probably don't even need the cage on here. So let's take it off. Second thing I'm going to take off is the uh, screw for the strap. That is the second um, place where it mounts. And watch this. Watch this wobble, right? This is not a problem with the Sony FX3. Watch this. Look at this. There's a slight wobble here. I think they needed a screw right here. But they didn't do it. I don't know why. Now the Sony A7 IV is back in its original configuration. Look how small it is. I should have compared the FX3 with the camera side by side, but you know, I was too excited to put on the cage and that's what I did. So, of course, I updated the uh, rubber eye to EVF, right? And of course, it does close the, uh, the sensor, which is much better than the FX3. I don't think the FX3 does that. How you doing, Nick? Merry Christmas. So let's leave it the A7 IV as is, as a nice photography camera that I'll be using it now and then. I will not be selling it because it's a very powerful camera. Very powerful. It's a great camera. Let's take these straps off here.
There we go. These are great straps, by the way, um, made by Peak Design. And I'm gonna have to, of course, attach the A74 straps back on here at some point. Not gonna do it now. Carl Zeiss lens. Yeah, that's a pretty good lens from what I heard. So now I need to attach the straps here. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. Um, so far it's not, yeah. So far it's not. Now I don't have my fixed strap on me, so um, that's fine. I don't really need it right now. Excited to use this guy. Sony FX3. No, not too heavy. Feels pretty good. It's pretty good. But first, let me take a selfie. I like that, huh? So at this point, I'll probably be turning it on. I'll be playing with the menus. Um, I'll be probably trying to film some stuff and yeah. How the lens extends this far. Very happy with my purchase. Shout out to Best Buy. Shout out to the full time filmmaker uh, program, which I am a student of, who suggested this um, to all these ideas that I have been having. <clears throat> yeah, not too heavy. That's pretty light, actually. But again, I don't have you guys on here. If I put you guys on here, you guys might be up here. And I'll t have the monitor down here, maybe. I don't know. Um, if I put a light. Actually, the light died. I need to charge it. Now we know these lights don't last too long. Paul Smith said, I had a Carl Z lens in one of my old um, floppy digital camera. Old Sony. Massivia. I never heard of that camera. So if I would have this light on there, I would have it on right here. Uh, that does add to the weight. Uh, with this barn door closed, you should be able to see the light. Obviously, it's dead, so should still able to see the light and uh, you know light up my interview interviewees, my subject. Uh, so yeah. And again, the mic used to be here; it's not there anymore. The mic is up here with XLR. So, we to hold it. It's a very solid grip.
to take this uh, needle rail off because I really don't need it. Yeah, what can I say? At this point, I'm just going to play with it and uh, make sure everything's good to go. I really don't need the barn door right now. Take that off. How you doing, Tony? Nice, clean look. Yeah, definitely, I agree, you know. Um, it's going to go on the shoulder like this. Um, the monitor is a little high, but you know what? It doesn't mean I have to do this the whole time. Sometimes I can do on my stomach, right? Look at that. Access all the controls here, right, with my thumb. It's going to be a great setup. It's going to be a great camera. It is a great camera to be using. I can't wait to use it for streaming, as well as the production work that I'm going to be getting into. So, anybody else have any questions? Um, yeah, so, I will be live streaming tonight um, as usual. Um, today, I'm going to be spending time with the family uh, and when after I drop them off uh, I will be live streaming as usual so I have not taken any nights off live streaming but uh, tonight is a night off work at least so and I will be posting that kind of funny weird corny video and if you guys did not see it I'll play it again real quick and then we'll end this live stream so I know because some of you guys just showed up so gotta be one of those that has got to be one of the corniest videos I've ever done <laughs> but you know what I had fun making it that's all that matters um, so yeah I had fun making it whatever if anything if, if anything I amused myself making it and if you guys are as amused as I was then feel free to comment uh, I'll be posting that on the Adam Loud Labs Instagram. So I'm glad you like it, Angie. And you know, you're gonna see the real version on the Adam Loud Labs Instagram. Hell, I'm gonna even post it on the YouTube as a short. So uh, but yeah, take care guys, Adam from Loud Labs. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on this special Christmas Day uh, unboxing of my new camera. And uh, looking forward to filming stuff with it and uh, looking forward to the next uh, live stream which is going to be tonight question 
What's your question, Angie? Um, Thank you, Paul. I'm going to wait for Angie's question super quick and we'll be out of here. And then I can probably have some water. And what issue is that? I'm not sure what issue you're talking about. Can I hit you up on LLN? I don't know what LLN is as far as a, a means to contact, uh, you know, I, because if you say, hey, I'll send you a DM on the Adam Loud Labs Instagram, I can work with that. If you're saying, uh, can I message you can I message LLN regarding an issue that you did not elaborate on? So I have no idea what you're talking about. So uh, one last comment before I log off this live stream. I don't think I'm hungry. Got some chicken tiki masala. Very good, highly recommended. Highly recommended. In fact, I had two servings because they provided two servings. So it first serving around like, I don't know, it's like maybe nine hours ago. So now again, you're saying, can I message you on LLN NYC? I don't know where on LLN NYC you want to message me. Instagram, Facebook, email, very confused. The second thing, I don't know what issue you're having and it's been a few messages where I provided you an opportunity to elaborate on what issue you're talking about. So I really don't know what issue you're talking about. With that being said, folks, have a good night. Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining me on this uh, live stream where I unboxed my uh, Sony FX3. Shout out to Santa Claus and uh out of the loud labs have a good night merry christmas it's about my husband who was blocked during the time he had wants to know if you can so here's the thing uh you can send me a dm if i find him i will unblock him if i can't find him then you know a lot of a lot of people have reached out about oh hey i was blocked by you this and that person and i go look for them and they're not there anymore or they have a different name so it it, it is kind of weird to go the easiest way i can tell anybody to who wants to participate on the chat again is just to come back as a different person come back as a different person right how many youtube accounts do you have let me count i have my loud labs account i have my personal account i have my adam loud labs youtube account i have my did i say I have a personal account yeah i have i have a, a family account i have a um I have an account that is only about the hob, uh, a paintball account. But I play paintball. I have another account dedicated to uh, bike messenger races I used to film. So if I can do it, you can do it, right? Especially if this live stream is worth en enough to you, you're gonna create a new account and join the live stream. So that's all I gotta say about that. So again, we're not taking uh, we're not, you know, going above and beyond trying to unblock every single person that requests to be unblocked because we also don't know the circumstances on which they were blocked. So the easiest way is to come back as a new person. So uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Adam from Mount Labs. Let's say who's here. Uh, Nick, Angie, Doug, Paul, and Tony. Gary, Nick and everybody else can and awesome fishing man have a good night folks merry christmas and take care